say 20 years ago that television audiences hooted hysterically at Hooterville's wackiest couple, Lisa and Oliver Douglas. And who can forget the favorite pig of all time, little Arnold? Well, this Friday night, May 18th on CBS, Green Acres will once again be the place to be. But for the time being, Lisa Douglas is here with me. Will you please welcome my friend, Miss Ava Gabor. Well, you said 20 years ago, when I only admit to 32, or maybe 38. I don't see how I could have done it so many years ago. 38, you could have been a baby. A but baby! I, darling, before we go, may I tell you, I love your show. Thank and you And congratulations. Very much. Thank You're doing you. so well. And you look so fat. Ha I tried. Oh. <laughs> Do you spend a fortune on clothes? No, I'm a, I am a bargain hunter. I can't afford those prizes. I went into a department store yesterday, and a little leather jacket, $5,000. Yes. You and I worked too hard. Even if I wouldn't be stingy, I wouldn't buy it. No. But why didn't you marry rich? Because Do you know what I'm saying? I tell you, I know what you're saying. You've had you're, a lot of husbands. A few. The, yes. thing, <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I'm a romantic. And unless I'm in love, I, I don't want anybody to touch me. And there is a saying, you never know how difficult it is to get money unless you marry it. And this I believe very sincerely. Can you imagine to go to bed with a man you don't love? But you know how many clever women do it? They're not clever, darling. They're miserable. But they're miserable in $5,000 leather jackets. <laughs> well, <laughs> of having a gorgeous outfit if you are not happy. Do you think you're going to find another man? What about you and Merv now? Is that a big romance? Are you going to get married? Or... <laughs> Which well, one do you want me to answer? All three. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. No, I mean, Merv is my dearest, most wonderful friend, and we leave it like that because there's no use to talk about it any longer. That, but he helped you a lot. When you were really... I remember when you, you and your last husband broke up. Oh, that was a terrible thing. That was very much like the Trump little affair when uh, he took off with a girl who was younger than his youngest daughter. And that's one thing I don't put up with. I will not be cheated. I don't mind if I have to support a man or if I have to, you know, I can almost do anything. But cheating and lying just goes against my grain. So when I found it out, I said goodbye. It's been nice to know you. And then Merv is my very best friend. I remember that. He helped me a lot. He really did. And, and it's, it's wonderful to have a friend like Merv. It really is. It's a joy. I know. And you look, the two of you look great together. Do you ever think of marrying? Well, I haven't given it a thought lately, but if I do, I let you know. Is there, <laughs> there, you'd be getting everything. You'd be getting a friend, a darling man, and big buck. Do people, I don't know how they could, do they try to confuse you with Jaja? Strangers? And it gets you crazy? Oh, yes, and it gets her crazy, too. Gets her crazy? Yes. She'd be on her knees saying, thank you, God. <laughs> oh, God. Gets her crazy. Oh, God. With all like... due respect, look at the body, look at no, the face. No, no, no. She should say, yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. She says, they tell her we love you in Green Acres, and she says, yes, and that's the only time I get mad. But <laughs> they call me Jaja, and I said, no, Eva. And they call her Eva, and she said, no, Jaja. Do I have time to tell your short sure. story? Sure. I gave it back to her once when she said in Green Acres, we love you. I am swimming in my pool without any clothes, just a big hat because, you know, the sun on the face only gives you freckles and everything wrong, and gloves. And I'm swimming away and I have the terrible feeling somebody's looking, and you know our house is on the coast, you can't look in. But these two guys climbed up on something in the back, and they finally called down and they said, hi, Ava. And I said, not Ava, Shasha. <laughs> Commercial, we'll be right back. More with Ava Gabor. <laughs> 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 we are back. Talking 
Every egg of the ball who on May 18th will have returned to Green Acres. Yeah. And you're sitting in with talking, and you said something before. You said your husband left you for another woman. And that to me is inconceivable. They marry a glamorous, but actually, beautiful woman who doesn't cheat, doesn't sure pull around. Been... What are they looking for? But actually, he didn't leave me. He wanted me for everything I have to offer. But he also wanted a little chick of 23 years old, which seems to be very much in the vogue. And, uh, you know, cheat on the side. And I found it out, and that was it. I cannot put up with that. But you know what they do. It's a middle-aged crisis. Yes. They're running after you. They think if they make love to a 23-year-old girl, they're going to be 23 again. Yeah. It ain't working that way. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you boys listen to me, it just doesn't. It's not contagious. Yes. When you're more than 23, you're more than 23. And the point is that every age has its joy. And it takes forever to grow up, at least for me. But do you, I hate getting older. I can't say to you, I enjoy but you see, that darling, one. My mother used to say, you have to do it and do it gracefully and do it with dignity. But it's horrible. You don't have to do it with dignity. You just don't get old. Oh. Look at my mother, who is 93 years old. She swims every day. She exercises. She, her husband died after 30 years of the most blissful marriage anybody ever had. And it was a year ago, and now she starts the date. And she has two balls. Does she remember? She remembers. Oh, darling, a little joke, mother, a little joke. I know it's a joke, but mother has her wisdom two bones. so well. She knows every phone number. I can't think of anybody's phone number. And she knows everything about who does what to whom and when. Oh, we, we, should, we should call her up for gossip. You should. <laughs> she has the best gossip in the world. She loves you, by the way. And I love, I love her. She really loves you. She's a great lady. But the point is that you can't fight it. It's either you go with it or you say, I'm miserable. Yeah. You, you, have, you, you never say you're miserable. You have to keep moving ahead. John, you yes. and I said when they interrupted us with the show yes. that you and I are survivors. Yes. Because we both went through hell and back. And look what happened to us. You are well, the most successful lady in New York, and I ain't doing so badly. And speaking of not doing so badly. Speaking of that. Tell me about Green Acres. Green Acres was a steady joy to do. We, were, we opened it up because it's a two-hour film, and we did it all on location, and Eddie Albert, who is really... Wonderful one of the best actors, one of the nicest men that ever were. I don't know, my English is not no, very good. That's very good. good. You're it doing is fine. Perfect. <laughs> well, not perfect, but you're but doing good. Cool. Okay. You're doing fine. Then, the company, we had the whole company back, and you know it was like we stopped working yesterday. We just it's fell back into the characters. Was Arnold the pig there, too? We had three Arnold, because one was behaving badly. And <laughs> we had a scene, and I hope you see it on the 18th, when Eddie and I are in bed with the pig in between us. Yeah, I think this may be the clip, and let's look and see, because you brought us a clip. Oh, we have one, you it's know. It's going to be a clip right there. Taxi! Taxi! Come on, taxi! Alibaba! Alibaba! Hurry up, Alibaba! Wait too, shorty. Leave him alone. Yeah, don't bring him here. Without, that's, 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 